This is a shot of a quarter wave ground plane antenna. This particular one is for a 220 megahertz band or the 222 to 225 megahertz. And it's just made out of a PL259 uh, screwed into a barrel connector. And I'll get a close up on that. I made a little ring that uh, ground radials plug into, as you can see there. And I'll take you step by step how to make one of these. I'm going to go ahead and make one for the 440 band. I already have one for the 2 meter band. And they're just a nice little antenna that's easy to match, uh, small in size. Um, and they're fairly inexpensive. These are made out of brass rod, 1 8 inch. Okay, let's get to it. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this is made. And basically the antenna is just a PL259 with a brass rod put into it. And they, then these radials, I've made this little bracket to attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off to show you. This is the radial, the ground radial assembly. And I'm going to go in and make one of these on the lay. So these just unscrew. These are 8 inch brass rods. And I've threaded them on the ends with a 632 thread size. And this little adapter is made so that it fits right over the top. Let me go ahead and take off this antenna. So this is just a barrel connector with an angle plate to mount it wherever you want. So this is the antenna and it's just a PL259 connector and this brass rod has been soldered into it. So this ring fits over the top and just comes down and fits over this sleeve. It's like a half inch hole and it tightens up with a set screw and then the radials screw in. So basically this will work with any uh, like VHF, UHF type antenna setup. You just have to have the right length of radiating element and the right length of ground radials. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make one of these little brackets. Now this took some special tooling. I have a little metal lay that I made this with so I'm going to make another one of these. I have two more antennas I'm going to make and they're just basically little handy antennas that I can set up someplace if I want to. Okay, next thing we'll move into the uh, shop and set up the lathe. Okay, I've gone ahead and chucked up about a one inch piece of aluminum rod and I'm going to make this little bracket out of it. So, let's show you this again. It fits on the antenna like this. So I want to make it something just a little bit less than this distance from this edge to the sleeve. So this measures about four tenths of an inch. This last one I made was about 370 thousandths. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and face this off. I faced it off once before but I've rechecked it up so I'm just going to face it again to get a nice smooth surface on it. And we'll go from there. Next thing I want to do is put a hole in the center of that to start a drill. So I'm going to use a drill center so that uh, it's started in the center correctly. And I've already got the chuck 
hooked up here. Get this out of the way. this down with just a little bit of cutting oil on it and I'm just gonna put it in far enough so that I can start a drill in in the exact center So I've got the drill center started now. I'm going to go ahead and put a quarter inch drill in here. I'll use it as a um, like a center tap or a center drill. And the other thing too is it only has to be deep enough for this to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this with a felt tip pin can find it so I know about how far I want to drill in okay if I drill to the end of that little mark there I'll be way beyond where I have to be back this out of here so you can see a little better. Okay, double check that. That's tight. Lock it down. I want to make sure I'm not going to hit anything there. I'm okay. Before I do that, I want to put a little oil on this. the center hole and now the next hole I'm going to enlarge it and I'll use a half inch drill bit which is plenty large enough but leaves a little bit of play in that sleeve oil on the drill. Now this one may chatter a little bit because it's so big and um, I'll know when I get to the end because I can feel it. So I'm not going to mark this drill bit. I've, you can see I maybe I've marked it on another project before. Okay here we go. I got to the end of it, or the bottom of the hole. Back that drill bit out, and we're about ready to start the next operation. The next thing I'm going to do here is set the compound at 45 degrees. Be 
because that bevel where this rods screw into that little ring is at 45 degrees if you can see that. I decided to move the camera here and uh, change the angle a little bit and uh, put in a different cutter. Let's go ahead and start. thousandths every cut so it takes off 40 thousandths overall. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I get a cut that seems to be wide enough to accept those rods. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and machine off this surface here just so it looks new and clean like the rest of it. And the next thing I'm going to do is part it off, and that's what I have the hardest time with this lathe. Um, it may be because I'm doing it wrong, maybe because the bit isn't sharp enough, I don't know, but uh, I'll attempt it here and see how it works.